This tutorial is inspired by the beautiful Kate Winslet playing Rose in the movie Titanic. Since it was released, Titanic has always been one of my absolute favorite movies, and I've always really been inspired by the makeup and the hair, as well as the beautiful costumes and jewelry throughout the movie. So I wanted to do a tutorial specifically based around Rose. I'm not going to be replicating Rose's makeup exactly in this tutorial. This is more of an inspiration rather than a recreation. If you'd like to see the actual makeup that they used on the movie, I'll have an article linked below. So let's get started with the hair tutorial, shall we? My best advice for getting curls like Rose is to start off with two day hair. Basically what two day hair is, is when you go two days and don't wash your hair, curls are going to stick a little bit better when your hair is a bit dirty. Another great way to add texture is to use dry shampoo. If you have a finer texture of hair, this step is essential. All you do is spray a little bit of the dry shampoo onto the roots of your hair and rub it in. You're going to need a few tools to curl your hair. You want to start off with a heat glove, your favorite hairspray, and a conical style wand. I'm using a wide tooth comb to section off pieces of hair that I want to be curled. So once I get the section I want, I spray it with hairspray. And then I'll take my curling wand and wrap the hair slowly around the barrel and all the way to the end and hold for a couple of seconds. Once you release the curl, you want to hold on to that curl. And now you want to take a bobby pin and pin the curl to your head. By pinning that curl in place, you're allowing it to cool down in a curl formation, which in turn is going to give you super long lasting curls. Essentially what I'm doing is a pin curl set, except I'm using a curling wand to create the curl. You want to continue this process throughout the rest of your hair. And definitely add hairspray as you go because it's going to help hold the curl. To add a little bit more volume to my hair, I'm going to be using some hair extensions. And these are from skrhair.com. I'll have links below to their site as well as their Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. But they are pretty unique because they do offer red hair extensions, which is kind of hard to find. You know, I've looked at all kinds of hair extension sites and they've never had red. So I was really excited when they contacted me and asked if I'd like to receive a set. This is my first experience using hair extensions and I was pleasantly surprised with how easy they are. Um, they are very soft. It's 100% human hair, so of course it's soft. And they're also easy to curl. They're a lot easier to curl than my natural hair is, so that's exciting. And also they're easy to dye. When I received these, they were bright red, like aerial red, and they didn't quite match my hair by a long shot. But I used my regular hair dye and they took it perfectly, so they matched really, really well in the end. If you'd like to see a tutorial on how I dyed my extensions, just leave me a comment below. Now as you can see here, they curl easily. I just used my curling wand again and curled them. SKR did offer me a discount code as well. If you use the code GOLDIESTAR, you get 10% off your order. Kate's makeup is quite understated in the movie. She's pretty much known for just a lip color and maybe a little bit of mascara and eyeliner. But for my tutorial, I wanted to add a little bit of pink because I was really inspired by that beautiful burgundy red dress she wears at dinner. And I thought pink would complement the burgundy really, really well. So I started off with an eye primer and then I applied light pink from the Lorac Pro Palette to my eyelids. Next, I used the mauve color and placed that into my crease. The mauve color cooled everything down so I decided to take a Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Tipsy and apply it on top. And then I applied another wash to the entire lid of the light pink. Next I used a brown pencil liner from Milani and just lightly lined my top lid. And then I set the eyeliner using the Espresso color from the Lorac Pro Palette. Next I curled my lashes and applied waterproof mascara. Kate's skin in the movie is flawless. She is flaw free. So I'm going to be using a fuller coverage foundation to block out any of my imperfections. And this is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin in 110 Classic Ivory. I'm going to be using a flat top brush to apply that foundation. Just buff it into the skin. To further cover any of my imperfections, dark circles, what have you, I'm going to be using OCC Skin Conceal in RO. 
I'm using a pointed taper style brush to apply it as well as my fingers. To set my face makeup, I'm going to be using MAC's Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Light. Kate's eyebrows in the movie are pretty defined, so I'm going to be using MAC's eyeshadow and sketch to fill in mine. I used two of the Tarte Amazonian Clay blushes on my cheeks. The first is Tipsy and the second is Dollface. I dipped my MAC 109 brush in both of the blushes and applied them to the apples of my cheeks. I really love Kate's lip color in the movie. It's kind of a burgundy brown color. Very beautiful. Looked great on her. And it's actually a YSL color, which of course I don't have. So I ended up using a lip liner from Milani and mixing it with a lipstick from Milani. So I used 07 Brandy and filled in my entire lip area with a liner. And then on top of that, I used the lip brush to dab Teddy Bear, which is another lipstick from Milani. Now you want to release the Kraken, aka let your curls down, and you just take your bobby pins out and your curls should fall quite nicely. They kind of look like coils or springs because you allowed them to cool in that shape. Now comes the part where we add the hair extensions, and what I've done is to section off my hair, and I've clipped up the top section of my hair. And as you can see, I'm clipping the wefts into my hair. This was super easy to do. I was kind of surprised. I thought it should be some complex process, but it was just easy. They just clip right in. And I used the three clip weft on the bottom section of my hair. And then on each side, I added a two clip weft and I made sure that they're not showing through my natural hair. Now that I have Rose's full glorious head of hair, I'm going to start pinning it up. And I started by sectioning my hair off and I started at the top section towards the crown of my head and I just grabbed a section of hair and pinned it back. Next I took the section underneath and pinned it on top of the first section so it's kind of like you're overlapping your hair. Then the section underneath that I pinned on top of the other section. you're essentially building a bed of curls on the back of your head. And there's really no rhyme or reason, there's no wrong way to do it, just make sure the hair is secure. And then I repeated the pinning process on the other side. You will have to fidget around a little bit to make sure the curls lay the way you want them to and make sure they're secure. You'll want to finish everything off with a healthy dose of hairspray, as well as your rose-inspired clothing and accessories. That wraps up this tutorial. Now you're ready to be drawn like one of Jack's French women. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. My heart will not go on until you give this video a thumbs up. No, seriously, I really do appreciate it. Anyway, join me on Facebook and Twitter for more Titanic fun. We can talk about our favorite scenes if you'd like. I'm really, you know, just a huge fan of the movie. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. See you soon. Bye.